the concept of covered interest arbitrage shows us the relationship between spot and forward exchange rates as well as interest rates. Now, if these spot and forward exchange rates are not set correctly, there's going to be an arbitrage opportunity uh, for some investor. What do we mean by that? We mean that it's an opportunity to earn a risk-free profit using none of their own money. Okay? It's not just the risk-free profit. You can earn, earn a risk-free profit by buying treasury bills, but you have to put up your own money. Here, um, a trader might be able to make money without even using any of their own money and the, and the um, profits are guaranteed. So let's see how this works. Okay, suppose we have a situation where the uh, spot exchange rate between Swiss francs and US dollars is two Swiss francs equals one US dollar and a forward exchange rate one period into the future where the uh, it's 1.9 Swiss francs to one US dollar. Let's also assume that the interest rate in the US is 10% and the interest rate in Switzerland is 5%. What's the first strategy that a US investor could undertake? Well, that person could invest $1 in a riskless US investment paying 10%. At the end of one period, they're going to have $1.10. We said the interest rate was 10%, and so they're going to have a dollar times uh, 1 plus 0 0.10. Now, what's the second strategy? That person could invest in Swiss risk-free investment, convert the $1 to francs, and simultaneously execute a forward trade to convert francs back to dollars in one year. So in this case, this person knows that they'll, what they'll be converting their um, Swiss francs back to in terms of US dollars. So after they convert their $1 uh, to Swiss francs, it's $1 right, times the exchange rate, which is two Swiss francs per $1. So they're going to have two Swiss francs. At the end of the same time uh, period, they're going to enter into a forward agreement to convert francs back to dollars in one year. Okay, so there's no exchange rate risk here. This, this person knows they'll be able to convert their Swiss francs back at the rate of 1.9 Swiss francs per one US dollar. Step three is now that this person has two Swiss francs in Switzerland, they're going to invest at the Swiss um, interest rate, which we said was 5%. So they're going to take their two Swiss francs and the future value in one year is going to be uh, 2.1 Swiss francs, okay? Because the, the um, interest rate is 5% in Switzerland. Step four, they're going to convert these this 2.10 Swiss francs to dollars at the forward rate they are already locked in, and we said that was 1.9. So they're going to convert this $2 in uh, 2.10 Swiss francs at this, at this forward exchange rate, which they have already locked in, and they're going to get 1.1053 US dollars. So since we did this for a dollar, if we just subtracted one from it, you can see that this is going to be the return. 10.53%, which is higher than the um, rate in the US. And if you think about it, they did it without any risk. Remember, the interest rate in the US was riskless. The interest rate, um, uh, the interest rate in Switzerland was riskless. Okay? But they actually used their own money. So that's actually not an arbitrage opportunity. Let's see how they would do this. Okay? To exploit this, Let's scale this up, okay? So for example, suppose this person borrows $5 million at the lower U.S. rate and invests at the higher Swiss rate. So this person's going to convert this $5 million at two Swiss francs per one U.S. dollar and get 10 million Swiss francs. They're also going to enter into that forward agreement at the exchange rate of 1.9 Swiss francs equals $1. So they invest the 10 million 
Swiss francs at that 5% rate that's uh, the risk-free rate in Switzerland. And at the end of the period, they have 10.5 million Swiss francs. They convert the 10.5 million Swiss francs um, at the exchange rate, that forward rate of 1.9 Swiss francs per dollar. So they take the 10.5 million Swiss francs and divide it by the exchange rate, 1.9, and they get 5,526,316 dollars. Now they have, they borrowed money here. They borrowed $5 million at an interest rate of 10%, so they have to pay back $5.5 million. But after you subtract that out, they have a risk-free profit of $26,316. And remember, they didn't use any of their own money. They, they financed this entire strategy by borrowing the $5 million. Okay, and they've paid it back. And everything was known in advance. The interest rates were, were locked in. Those were risk-free. The exchange rate today is known. The forward rate that they could convert their Swiss francs back to dollars was also known. So here, this trader made $26,316, took no risk, and used no money. Now, in the real world, Traders aren't foolish. If they see this opportunity, they're going to do this, and that's going to cause the exchange rate to change until this risk-free profit is driven away, until this arbitrage opportunity is driven away. Because it doesn't have to be a big differential. They can, they, because they're not using any of their own money, and because they're, um, all the, everything's known in advance, there's no risk, they can do very large transactions. And what's that going to do? That's going to, you know, change the exchange rate until this is driven down to zero.